Hi everybody, we are going to do a OpenCats install on Windows. This is long overdue. I was waiting on a few things uh, to get sorted out before I did this. Uh, there is not going to be any resume indexing, but apparently the resume indexing is not working really for any OpenCats installation right now and that's not a major thing so no big deal I don't want to wait on the video anymore uh, I want to put this out and hopefully help a few people get through the installs I think a lot of Windows users <clears throat> I used to run Windows way back when and it is um, uh, a roadblock it's a barrier coming up against a piece of software that isn't a simple exe file that you can double click to install uh, so I assure you I assure you the installation is very simple uh, it's it's not complicated or technical and the documentation for this process is very thorough so if you just simply follow step by step uh, you'll be up and running in just a couple minutes so I'm gonna pull up the updated Windows documentation I'll do a Bing search here open cats documentation should be at or near the top of the list let's try open cats I don't like Bing all right we're going to scroll down down here. OpenCats dash documentation dot read the docs dot io. I will make sure there's a link to it in the notes on this video. Okay, we're going to the Windows portion of the instructions and we're going to just follow this verbatim. Now I have already downloaded these files. Uh, uh, XAMP in particular uh, is pretty big so it'll take a couple minutes but you'll just download you can save or just run either XAMP and Composer we want to install right away you do have to install XAMP before Composer Composer requires XAMP to be installed first so I'm gonna go ahead over here and go into my downloads folder and install XAMP. I see it right here on the list. Double click. Yes. Get a little warning. That's no big deal. Click next. 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 And in the meantime it's taking you to their website got a lot of cool web software that will work with XAMP. If you are the sort to fool around with different kinds of software, there's a lot of neat stuff here. Modic is a email marketing program that's fairly new. Uh, there's a lot of email marketing automation in there. There's a lot of uh, uh, I don't really dig into email marketing stuff much, but they have a lot of the features <clears throat> they're trying to build into that that some of the pay services are. So that actually looks like a really cool program. Orange HRM, if you are a human resources person, that's HR focused software. It's not really good for any kind of real recruiting, but for a smaller company, real light basic tracking it's got some recruiting functionality but it's got much more broad HR um, functions built in <clears throat> simple invoices is a couple invoice programs I think own cloud if you don't know own cloud is basically your own Dropbox it's awesome I'm only doing this to kill time while this is installing a uh, couple CRM's Sugar, that's sort of the the granddaddy of all the CRMs, the open source CRMs. And I will pause this video 
until the downloads are done. Okay, looks like XAMPP is done installing. And I'm, I'm not going to walk through. I said I was going to install everything. I'm not. I'm going to stick with the documentation. So XAMPP is done. I'm not going to start the control panel now. So I'm going to deselect that. And then I'm going to go ahead and install Composer. You would download and install Composer here. Composer is very small, so it will install quickly. We're just going to click Next. We're not going to change anything. The default settings are just fine. Alright, Composer is done. Finish. Now again, so you'll uh, download the OpenCATS files. Now that is not an executable. You can't install it yet. You have to just save. So I've already done that. I'm in the downloads folder and I'm going to get rid of this because I did it twice. So we're just going to right click once. We're going to hit extract all. We're going to change this part. Now the address where we want to go to is over here so you can copy and paste or you can type it in we don't want that dot and then we will hit extract this will take a minute but I'm gonna let it run The length of time for this installation process is really going to depend mostly on your internet speeds and your computer, your processor, your RAM, that sort of thing. Um, there's actually very few steps, but as far as time goes, downloading the XAMPP file and installing the XAMPP file are probably the most time consuming parts. I don't have a great gauge on this, but on my machine, I I think it takes about 20 minutes start to finish. Okay, so that is extracted and it's where it needs to be. We're going to start XAMPP. Click the Windows Start button, type XAMPP. Anywhere, doesn't matter where. X-A-M-P. Alright, so it pops up before we even finish. This is what we want. Click it. We're going to hit Save. Alright, now again, this is in the documentation. Got a picture, got nice little red boxes. We need to start Apache and MySQL. So start, start. That's it. We'll leave this stuff alone. We don't need it. Everything is started. Close that out. Now we are going to use Composer. So we're going to open up command. So we're going to go back here, type CMD. Well, see again, command prompt opened up. We want the command prompt. Click it. I've got the font larger. Hopefully, it's nice and readable. <clears throat> we can copy and paste this. We have to change the address. Oh, good lord. All right. All right. Bring it over here and paste. That is not right.
Okay, now we got it. Good. Got that in there. Enter. We are inside the OpenCAD's directory. And then we want it to type composer space install. Enter. Now Composer is going to install a bunch of dependencies. I'm going to pause the video. This I think will take about five minutes. Okay, Composer is done installing the dependencies. So we're going to proceed. Now, after Composer, I'm going back to the documentation on the right here. After Composer is uh, done installing, close the command prompt. We do not need this anymore. Close it. Stop the Apache service. This is important. We have to turn it off and back on. Lower right corner. Right click, XAMP, stop Apache. So this little little button right here, click it. Our XAMP symbol, right click it. Go up to Apache, hit stop. And then we're going to repeat the process. Click, right click, Apache, start. We're going to wait a second. All right, we're good. So we're here, we're moving on. Now this optional section, self-explanatory. If you want to rename the OpenCADS directory, right now the default is OpenCADS-0.9.3-3. That's going to be the name you access it in in the browser. That's going to be your browser address. If you want to shorten the directory name down so that it's shorter in the browser, you can do that. That's no problem. I usually change mine to ATS and then when I go to my browser it's whatever my domain is forward slash ATS. Doesn't matter, up to you. For the purpose of the walkthrough and documentation I'm going to leave it at the default. But this is all optional. You do not have to change that. In the browser go to. So I'm going to right click open in a new tab and I'm going to bring this over here keep the split screen. So we have over here PHP my admin and over here we have our OpenCAD's documentation. PHP my admin is a very easy way to set up a MySQL database and user. So again we're going to just follow the instructions. If for some reason it doesn't load over here Go ahead and stop Apache and restart it one more time. For now, left side, click New to create a new database. That's right here. Click it. Database name. We're going to call everything OpenCATS. You do not have to. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure that you remember it or write it down. So I'm doing OpenCATS, all lowercase, create. Done. So this is our list of databases. We see the OpenCATS database here now. Click that. And then we're going to create a user. In the box labeled database name, type OpenCATS, we're past that. So we see OpenCATS over here. Now we're looking for privileges at the top. If you're running split screen like me, you won't see it. So if it's maximized, you see privileges. If it's split screen, then you have to click or hover over more and you'll see privileges. So click privileges and then down here we're going to add a user account. So we want a username. Again, I'm using OpenCATS for everything. Host name, we want to change this to local and that'll autofill local host. That's good. That's what we want. Password, I'm doing OpenCATS. So this is all good. Now for here we want to make sure this line in particular is checked. Grant all privileges on database open cats. We want to check yes. Yes check. Good. This stuff we leave alone. Go down to the bottom, hit go. Added a new user, open cats. I want to make sure it's attached to the database. Let's close this. Yeah, right here, edit privileges. So this looks good. 
we are done in PHP my admin we can close this out so all of this we just went through now we're going to go into OpenCAD so I'm going to maximize this screen uh, if you want to continue split screen that's fine the rest of it's pretty intuitive so I'm going to just open this in a new tab and this is our installation wizard screen so we click this installation wizard now this is what you're going to see on windows you're going to have some yellow uh, this is fine. These extensions are not necessary. If you're technical enough to know what LDAP is and you want LDAP, uh, go through, get the extension, set it up. Uh, it's not something that I have ever needed. Most people, I think, do not. It just depends on what sort of functionality you want. The SOAP extension is irrelevant. So all of this is fine. If you see any red, which really shouldn't, because there's not a lot of variables in this install process, uh, there's a problem you have to go back and fix. But for now, we're going to click Next, go forward. This was the database we just created. Everything I did was open cats. So that's what I'm going to put in here. The last one, database host, needs to be local host. So we leave that. Test. Everything's green everything's good click next we're gonna do a new installation now these are the resume indexing tools we are not going to use this in Windows it doesn't work right now click skip this step now I am not going into email stuff if you want the email functionality and you know how to populate these uh, settings enter it in uh, I think it'll work under Windows. I don't see why I wouldn't. For now, I'm clicking None. This, you can leave alone. Click Next. Set your time zone, that's important, or your timestamps will be all out of whack. And while I guess that really doesn't affect anything, it's weird to see candidate notes entered in at 2 in the morning. So I'm changing the date format, UK, US. I'm changing it to US. US zip code lookup. Yeah, OK. That's it. Username default, password defaults, admin, admin. Start open cats. We're at our login screen. Admin, admin, login, and we have an open cat system. Now, I'm a big fan of changing the password right away, so let's go ahead and do that. I clicked on settings, change password. Current password is admin new password I'm just gonna put new password you can put whatever you want change password it boots this out login again username admin password new password got a awesome empty open cats applicant tracking system waiting for whatever you want to do with it let me know what you think. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments or go to the Open Cats forums. Uh, that's a good place if you need support. Thanks a lot.